Alright, in this video I'm gonna show you how I went on tackling an art challenge with the goal of doing one painting every day for a month. Watch till the end to learn about all of my failures and success during this challenge and of course the final result. Alright, so the Warrior Painter Art Group is hosting another edition of the Planner April this year, okay. The theme is Air, Fire, Earth and Water, okay. Wow, this is a long shot. With my client work, I'm gonna have to work a lot during this month if I do that. Meh, I can do it. Just paint an extra hour every day. That's no big deal, right? Alright, so for day one I was pretty excited and I decided to paint the Canal Saint Martin which is pretty close to my home. The footage were taken last summer and I was really digging the light coming right behind the building and this was kind of the main event for this painting. Day two I wanted to try out the new version of Heavy Paint which is a software that I've been using for quite a while now. It has a very traditional feel and I really suggest that you try it out. Doing these kind of challenges is actually quite a convenient time to try out new tools, that's why I went for it. So I painted this little boat, which is, I think, pretty interesting. I think this is pretty successful, however, I'm not so satisfied with the waves. Day 3, I actually went out in the cold for real. And it was the only real planner painting that I did during the challenge. The rest are all taken from photographs around the world. I went to the Butchaumont, which is a nice spot close to where I live, and I really enjoyed this little bridge. I used Epi Paint on my iPad and finished on Photoshop later. Another cool thing that you can do is try out subject matters that you are not used to. For example me, I've never tried to paint very stylized waves. And this was the first time that I did so and I think this went pretty successfully honestly. At this point, because the challenge I guess was not demanding enough, I got sick and for the next 5 days I couldn't breathe through my nose, so it was a pretty nice added feature to the challenge. I also experimented with very stylized shapes for day 5, 6 and 7 and I was pretty happy with this experiment, so much so that I did a complete tutorial on how I painted the stylized clouds, be sure to check it out on the channel. Day 8 I went back to Epi Paint and got inspired by other artists to try and add subjects to my painting. I also wanted to experiment with a very saturated dominant color for this one. For the day 9 painting I wanted to try out the stencil functionality in Epi Paint, which is basically a log pixel function in Photoshop, but combined with all the cool tools from the software you can get some pretty interesting results. One cool thing that I learned during this challenge and that helped me a lot was that you have to post every day your artwork in order to participate in the challenge. So sometimes you're not so happy with the work you did, so getting used to posting not so great painting on your social media is kind of tough. And at first I was kind of struggling, but moving forward you don't really have a choice, you have to post before midnight, you know? You kind of demystify the quality of work necessary to post on social media, so that's a pretty good plus. I also got out of my comfort zone and tried to paint a series about Morocco from photographs taken by my friend Alex and using heavy paint to do so. This was a pretty interesting theme, however I felt a little bit frustrated I guess because I attributed a little bit too much value on how well the paintings were received on social media, which is kind of a danger honestly, because you cannot really value your work based on that. Alright, so at this point we are halfway through. Stick around till the end of the video where I will share some tips about tackling art challenges and things that I would probably do differently and how to prepare for the next one. Honestly, I felt a little bit discouraged. I kind of wanted to quit at this point. Bully, what's up? No, yeah, you know, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. Juggling with client work plus having no real social life for these days, I miscalculated a little bit how much this would take. And I thought at first that maybe half an hour, an hour per painting would suffice, but I, at some point I found myself painting for two or three hours because I was not happy with the results. And someday I would not really care and do a painting in under an hour and be pretty happy with it. Some days you're in it and some days you're not. Seeing everyone cool work got me motivated. I thought that if other artists could do it, I could do it. So. I really wanted to push through. Plus, I was looking forward to create a cool product for you guys. At this point, I had recorded every painting and I thought, well, if I could record all the 30 paintings, that would be an awesome thing to share with the community. Alright, at this point, I found some motivation back 
and I went on to tackle more atypical subjects, like this weird place called the Marble Cathedral in Patagonia, and it was pretty cool to discover amazing places like this. I was liking the idea to try and paint reflective surfaces and the transparency of the water. This one was pretty fun to do. This led me to this pretty cool nighttime scene for day 16. I wanted to try more unusual stuff for me, and finding a cool graphical intention for the wet floor was definitely my objective for this one. A couple of days before, one of my followers suggested me to paint Northern Lights, and I found the idea so cool. This would continue the series on nine time places and led me to this nice painting. During this challenge I have been painting a lot of trees and nature for client work and I was quite used to painting these kind of shapes. So actually this painting for day 19 was pretty easy to make and I'm really happy with the ambience and mood that comes out of it. Of course you can call yourself a planner artist without painting a cactus, lily pads and a cool wave. So I wanted to check those boxes for these three days of course, and actually I'm pretty fond of them. The only missing from the triad is a lemon slice, but I figured this wouldn't really qualify as planner study. On this next one I really liked adding the little bird, because it was not in the original photograph and I did it very quickly with only a couple of brush strokes, and I really enjoyed the simplicity of it. This is something that I'm always looking for and actually succeeding in putting it down so quickly and efficiently was actually a small success for me. You might have picked up the fact by now that doing this challenge wasn't as easy as I anticipated. So far I've shown you only the paintings that I published, but the truth is that I have actually a couple of failed attempts that never saw the light of day. I spent quite some time on some of them and they kept extending the amount of work I had to put out during these months. And also one little thing, the next two days were during the weekend. And I found out that painting during the weekend was actually the hardest because I was in a relaxed state and I wanted to chill out a little bit. I did not have my mind into work. During my work week, I was in the middle of it, you know, I was in the rhythm of painting, but especially on Sundays, this was really tough to get the painting on. While scouring the challenges, I got inspired by artists to try some foggy paintings. I thought it was a cool twist on the subject of air, and I made a couple of pieces on that topic. This was interesting to me because I'm so used to paint direct sunlight, and finding beauty in a more gloomy, overcast setup was actually quite satisfying. I also like to paint atmospheric effect, so I enjoyed a lot painting this one. On the same series, I went back a little bit to Civilization for day 26 and 27, where I painted streets, car, and at this point I was feeling quite motivated and my confidence was quite high because I could almost see the end of it. Three days to go. Taking on art challenge serves multiple purposes in my opinion. You get to create more pieces for your portfolio, you get to participate in the art community, discover great new artists, you can try out new things, get out of your comfort zone, and post a little bit more on social media. I got to grow my following base as a whole. Of course, I cannot really fathom the idea of putting out so much content for the rest of the years, but still I think this is a pretty rapid growth and I think it's an awesome way to grow your profile overall. Alright, so a few tips for the next challenge if you have ever want to try one of these. The first one would be to find themes. I mean, theme of the challenge was fire, earth, water and hair. But of course, you can interpret it as much as you'd like. And for me, having different small projects inside those 30 days was pretty fulfilling to me. For example, I focused my attention on a very stylized shapes. I painted a couple of pieces from Morocco and so on. Second tip would be to plan ahead a little bit more because at some point I was looking for photographs, because I had no time to go out and do real planner paintings, you know, but I found myself sometimes looking for photographs for a very long time, which was not very time efficient. Another good tip would be to interact a lot with other challenges. 
you are all in the same boat and everyone is struggling honestly. One cool thing too is to bring your friends into this with you because you will not be alone to suffer and when you're feeling unmotivated you can always speak with them and we can all suffer together. To keep you motivated also have an extra goal for the challenge. For me it was to create those 30 video process that I could share with you guys. The prospect of releasing this product was actually very important to me in finishing the challenge. I cannot make all of these things. If I only make 15 paintings, 28 paintings, you know, I get to do the whole challenge. So if you enjoy a couple of the paintings you saw, you can check out the link in the description and get your hands on the video process for each and every one of the painting. Doing art challenges is an awesome way to gain some traction on your profile. And if you're looking for more art career tips, you can check out this video. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.